Yeah, that's right. No? Wait. Deactivating door lock. That's hard. <laughs> I think I got a little bit lucky with that, honestly. All right, two ways to go. We've been going left every time, so let's just keep going left. so much damage from them. I feel like I could have easily gotten stuck on that password door. And like, that would suck having to run all the way back to that other room and listen to it again. I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna thank my streamer luck for that one, because I do not feel like that was my skill. <laughs> I think you're going the right way, the side path might be the room. Oh, so I should go back to that and take that turn. Do directs. All right, I can do that. Let's go back and uh, go the other way then. You never go the right way first. The rule. All right, head over here. Just survival tent. I ain't going upstairs in this one. I was thinking if, um, uh, Fire Emblem wins the poll. And we end up doing Fire Emblem next, and we're gonna do a bunch of Fire Emblem games. Then, um. I wonder if we should come up with some sort of, like, challenge or something for some of them. Because, like, although the story is different in every Fire Emblem, the, comp the, the actual mechanics of the game don't change that much from game to game, I don't think. I was thinking maybe we should come up with some way to, like, spice it up. Although, I mean, Fire Emblem's not super easy, like, Pokemon or anything. Like, they're. And it has difficulties in some of them, right? And it has permadeath. I think a lot of them have the option to turn off permadeath, but I think we definitely want to play with permadeath on, right? And just like, if someone dies, then we deal with it. Although then you can just, you know, be missing out on characters, I guess, and it's our first time through, and that's a whole thing, but... I don't know, I feel like you would have to... Get, like, I think... It's in the spirit of Fire Emblem to play with the permadeath on, right? Anyways, I don't know if it's gonna win. I've just been thinking of, I've been, you know, putting some thought into each of the games that might win. I gotta heal Ellie after this. this room is it's like a it's like we're going upstairs but I don't know what's in the center of the room there permadeath being optional is fairly recent by fire emblem standards the old ones were always permadeath all right cool yeah even if you had the option to turn it off I feel like you'd want to keep it on like it it would make the playthrough special to have like different characters possibly you know 
Let's see what's up here. Oh, now where are we? Yes. Extra armor DX? Oh man, have we finally reached like the, the ultimate extra armor item? Yeah, look at that. Like Death Floor 3, like you gotta get like all the way up to level 3. And I bet they're pretty good, right? I would hope. Because it takes like three turns to get up to level 3. And you'd be throwing it away. I am so done with these fights, man. How many freaking random battles have we fought in this dungeon today? I feel like half the stream has been just us doing these random battles. Mm. It's mostly just me waiting around to hit a couple buttons and watch, because like, there's, there's no real tension. There's no real danger at this point. We're just, we gotta get through them, you know? They're in the way. You can always tell you're getting near the end of an RPG when the... It's just another set of stairs. Interesting. You can always tell you're getting near the end of an RPG when you're, um... When the dungeons get really long. <laughs> There's a bunch of these different stairwells. I guess I'm gonna have to go down each one of them. Probably. Okay, let's go back to the stairwells and there could be chests in there. Let's explore up here first, because like, we're going to go back anyways, right? Theoretically, if the other pathway was the right way to go. Let's search up here first. <laughs> hey. 
As for the other games at the top right now, like Trails in the Sky, Trails of Cold Steel, I don't know that much about those games. I've played like the first chapter, basically, of Trails in the Sky, and it was fun. It seems like it it's supposed to have a really good story, and the story stretched out over a couple games. But it seems like a fairly standard JRPG, right? Like, there's not... As far as, like, the mechanics and everything, it doesn't seem anything surprising there. All right, we got another chest down here. What is this? Sonic Wave. Is that a weapon? <laughs> Not for any of these characters. It sounds like a weapon. Maybe it's a weapon for someone else. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Maybe it fights just trying to look at it. Obviously, it looks like you sit in that chair and then, I don't know, <laughs> like if you some kind of control of, or something. Fighting an insane number of random battles today. <laughs> I mean, I've had worse. To be fair, <laughs> some older, older JRPGs is like that's like the whole game. So can't really complain. This is an older JRPG. It's not like older, older. Well. Whatever this is, I think we're done looking at it. Let's go. Take our item out of the chest and leave. I wish there was some kind of context to that, though. It looks like an interesting chair or whatever. There's another one. Silver armor plus one, cool. Controls. Do they strap you in there or something? I don't know. What we're looking at here. Can't jump. Yep, must be a fight. <laughs> okay, at least that's an easy one, quick one. Maybe something in one of these rooms will tell us what we're looking at. Maybe that's the idea, is they're showing you these rooms, but you don't know what they are, and then eventually you'll find out. Is I'm guessing none of this is the room that you're talking about yet, um, Deuterex. Is this whole area up here optional? Like, if I kept going straight, would I have missed all this? If so, thanks for stopping me. Is 
That's the kind of backseat gaming that we really appreciate here. <laughs> like, you didn't spoil anything, you just stopped me from missing something. Love it. I could be playing another game while I'm waiting for these boss these fights to go on. This is when if you're playing with an emulator you start thinking, hmm, is there a speed up button? <laughs> and then you hit fast forward. No, no fast forward. here the party oh this looks like an interesting room what is this place holograms of us why are there holograms of us in a Solaris place Fei, Lambs number 00158975, Fei Fong Wong. Ether response, infinite. Anima alignment, infinite. Comments, contact. Immediate disposal desired. Ellie, minister, minister number 6920188-2. Elheim Van Houten. Ether response, infinite. Anima alignment, infinite. Comments, possible anti-type. You heard that before. Ah, oh, I forget what it was. Approval of retrieval and necessary analysis granted. Retrieval and analysis. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Sighton, Lamb's number. Five eight four nine two one five four seven. Huga Richto. Richto. Ether response two forty. So yeah, Faye and Ellie have ether response and anima alignment infinite. Although this is anim's alignment. They didn't misspell that. <laughs> Comments none. Okay. Lamb's number, Bartholomew Fatima, Ether Response, Anima Alignment. Upon Dan Anima's retrieval, schedule for Anima's adjustment. That for him getting his um, Omni Gear. Minister number. He's got a minister number. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Billy Black. Ether response, anima schedule for animus adjustment. Test mixture number. Oh, Rico. Ricardo Banderas. Ether response, anima created by the ethos as an experimental mixture used by the Kislev Battling Association to measure battle potential. The data has been transferred. Schedule for animus adjustment. Oh, this ought to be an interesting one. Codename Emeralda. Ether response not available. Anima alignment none. Comment nanomachine colony. Data analysis complete. Annul and dispose. Oh, that's not good. All right, this is gonna be a native life form. So, oh, missed it. All right, Maria's a lambs. Yep. Maria Balthazar. Uh, unusable. Interesting comment. Primitive animal, unusable, and all undisposed. Interesting. So this must be the room. Ooh, speed ring, yes. How much that gives? Yeah, I know. All right. Um, the thing with Sighton is, like, I've been seeing him working for the Emperor so long, I just think of him as a Solarian.
Beatering just gets one agility, but Spearing S. Can I get five? It gives two. Okay. Um. You see, that's why, like, he has 13, he has 11. She only has eight agility. I'm just gonna give her that ring now. <laughs> there you go. And Billy. Billy's a Solarian. To administer him. Or is that because he was in Ethos? I mean, his father is Jesse. Makes sense. She has a minister number. Approval for possible anti type. We heard about this anti type thing in one of our previous like scenes with the gazelle ministry or something, I think. Maybe. Contact immediate disposal desired. So Faye and Ellie both have infinite ether and animus, huh? Interesting. Huh, this one won't open either. This way. Why is the deactivation... I didn't need to read all that. The deactivation code something? Doc, wait. What's this facility for? This place was not meant to be seen since the origin of time. This facility centers around the Emperor and the Ministry's longevity experiments. The origin of time? Yes. 10,000 years ago, beings called humans were born here. The first were the Emperor and the Ministry's elders. How could a human live 10,000 years? Now only the Emperor is left. His destiny is to never die. However, the Ministry is different. Once, during the Diablos invasion, the Ministry elders died losing their bodies. That was, what, 500 years ago? Something like that? 400 years ago? Now the Solar Solaris government ministry exists as data and memory banks. Each of their personalities are bits of data. It's the data on the memory bank? Having neither flesh nor souls, they are just binary numbers. They both exist and do not exist at the same time. After the fall, wanting to resurrect their bodies and create a worthy vessel, they transferred a research facility that was once soil the Soylent system on the land to Etronach. So the Soylent system used to be down there for the lambs? Is that what they're saying? Eventually, the facility was no longer only for the Emperor's life and the Ministry's resurrection, but it began producing food and drugs with additives that controlled the public. The memory cube Fay and them were using was meant for obtaining living data. Of course, the ethos also sent various data to help. That means we were living for those elderly people of Gazelle? Yes. They're transferring and taking living data via memory cubes to the ministry so they can use them to resurrect their bodies? Yes. You mean those mutants getting disassembled at the factory were too? Basically, they wish to reuse the useless dregs. That's horrid. How could they? <clears throat> Hold on, Faye. Something's not right. Satan, how would you know that? Not even the government or the army know such things. What? Come to think of it, it seems like we took that long way here on purpose. There must have been a faster way to Barton them. Also, the route to get to this block can't even be downloaded on the map. So how did we know what streets we were on? 
Doc, didn't you also find out? That's impossible. First of all, that partition we took to get into this block, that panel was displayed to be a P4 facility. Even a high-ranking officer of Solaris can't get in here. You think they'd leave a facility like that unlocked and open? And you could open it? Who exactly are you? Hey, wait a minute. It could have been luck. <laughs> Something's wrong. You were able to get into Solaris under martial law, sneak into the palace, get through the P4 level door, and even learn the purpose of the P4 facility? How is that possible? Even father, I'm sure, was possible you were in the Solaris then. Even Jesse, who was also in Solaris then, didn't know the motive behind the M project. So, Saiten, why do you know? You know even more details than Maria. Something's not right, I know it. Ellie, um... I'm not done. I should have noticed sooner, Saiten. Who are you? Um, excuse me? <laughs> hey, you okay, Ellie? Ellie? Doc? Damn, got us. Ellie, Saiten, where are you? He still trusts the doc. Oh, God, dude. 